Orman Beckles, the high tech nomad here with another two minute tech talk. I find myself working outside a lot more these days. When I'm going over different documents, I get more out of it if I can hear it. I learn best when I hear it rather than read it, and I get even more if I can hear it while I'm reading it. So we're gonna see how to turn on the ability to have your Chromebook actually read text to you. It's built right in, a lot of people don't know it, but you're gonna know how to do it now. We have the Gettysburg address here, and instead of me actually just reading it, we're gonna go to settings, go into advanced, go into accessibility. You're gonna to go to manage accessibility features. The one that you want is right here, enable select to speak. When we click on that, it'll go on, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings. When we look at the settings, you'll see that we have the ability to change the speed, the pitch, and the volume. You can actually test it. Either on your text to speech voice. Okay. You can slow that down if you want to. Hi there, I'm your text to speech voice. You can change the pitch. Hi there, I'm your text to speech voice. Ooh, sounds like a whiskey drinker to me. I'm going to put these back up now. None of those are the perfect voice. Stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a tip to get uh, better voices. But hi there, I'm your text to speech voice. That's fine. I like that. I like it to be on the fast side. Now we go and look at our text. You'll see you have an extra icon down in the display tray. You're gonna go ahead and click on that and then anything you highlight, it will actually read. So you just go ahead and you highlight it using this purple box, let it go and... Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent, a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged. If you need to stop it at any point in time, you just go ahead and click on that icon. Uh, these were not the best voices. I use an extension called the Acapella Voice. You say Acapella Chrome extension. You'll see an extension. Go ahead and load that. There we go. That gives a different voice engine and then we can pick different voices. We're gonna wait for that to go ahead and load. And we'll have a new icon up top here. Let's go ahead and click on that one. Make sure that we can see that, there we go. Okay, they will list all of the different voices that they have. You see that there's a fee associated with these voices. You can hear what they sound like ahead of time. I happen to use Will. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall Will here. What's nice is once you buy that voice, it's tied to your Google account. So if you buy one here for one Chromebook and you have it on another Chromebook or you have it on your desktop at work, you can always use that one voice. You heard the first voice. Now we're gonna hear Will. Will has now been installed. So all we have to do is come back out to settings back into accessibility back to manage accessibility open up the text-to-speech settings in our preview of voices we scroll all the way through here you'll see we have will so we're going to go ahead and turn will on and we can actually test it here hi there i'm your text-to-speech voice i don't know about you but i much more prefer will so i'm going to go ahead and close that off and I'll come back to the Gettysburg address and we will now test it with Will. So I'll just go ahead and highlight that and go like this. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent, a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation. I prefer the, the faster speed. That is how to get your Chromebook to read text to you. It will work with any program, any text on the screen. All you have to do is click that icon, go ahead, highlight that, and then you'll be all set. If you want more great tips like this, please click the subscribe button. And if you want answers to, you know, a little more detailed questions, then check out our main channel, The High Tech Nomad. Until the next time, this has been Orman Beckles, and you've been watching another Two Minute Tech Talk.